The next question concern Lon concerns London's retrofit revolution, and it's in the name of Assemblymember Polanski. Uh, th thanks for your question. Uh, London's buildings generate 78% of the capital's carbon emissions, and uh, most will need significant retrofitting to meet uh, net zero targets. Not enough progress has been made in this across the nation, including London, and it's deeply frustrating that the government continues to retreat in this important area. The contrast between the government's approach and our approach from City Hall couldn't be clearer. It's disappointing. As we've heard, the Prime Minister has recently rolled back on hard-won commitments on climate and energy, including on making landlords ensure their properties were of a decent energy-efficient standard. We should be acting faster in the face of uh, climate crisis, not slower. I understand in the Assembly Member's recent report, he recognises that the primary barrier to delivering retrofit at the required scale is a lack of ambition, policy certainty and investment from central government. Neither I as Mayor nor local authorities have the powers or budget to retrofit London's homes at the required scale. I have called for the devolution of both on many occasions to end the short-term stop-start cycle that has undermined supply chain delivery and negatively impacted the retrofit industry for decades. Until this is resolved, the market will not provide the job to grow the skills base. However, through, through control of the adult education budget in London, we have made a start to show what can be done, especially to demonstrate the value of a local approach to delivering green skills. We have incentivised provision of technical courses supporting Londoners in green occupations, launched capital funding to help skills providers build their capacity to deliver green skills training, and established strong local partnerships between skills providers and employers. And more broadly, we have been working with London councils and social housing providers to set up programmes that are helping thousands of Londoners uh, uh, retrofit their homes. For example, the Retrofit Accelerator Homes Programme uh, is a technical advice and support programme helping social housing providers cut carbon and reduce energy bills by drastically improving the energy efficiency of their homes. And I'll continue, Chair, to urge Ministers to show the leadership needed and devolve the funding and powers to mayors who are ready to deliver a retrofit revolution. Thank you very much. So, first of all, I'm very pleased to hear that you have read my report, which I've got here, including the recommendations. Um, I think, though, the conclusion I've reached in the report is slightly different to how you've characterised it. I do accept that the government have a major role to play here, but I want to talk about your role. Now, London's housing stock is being retrofitted at a tenth of a speed. It needs to be, and every day, as you recognise there with the urgency that we don't do this and don't retrofit more homes, will push that 2030 net zero target. Uh, it'll be a steeper and steeper climb to get there. Now, the government have given you minuscule funding, but even that amount of funding you have still failed to spend. In fact, your Warmer Homes programme failed to spend the investment that the government had given. And the common denominator with all of this, as we've spoken about several times, is skills, having skilled workers able to do this. Retrofit coordinators, for instance, there are more assembly members in this chamber than there are retrofit coordinators in London. Now, experts are telling me that, London councils are telling me that, your own GLA monitoring group is telling me that. You declared a retrofit revolution, that is great alliteration, um, but unfortunately you seem to be a revolutionary that has outsourced your manifesto and then is now asking the government for permission. So where is the leadership on this? So that would be a great clip on Twitter, uh, but <laughs> let, me do, let me deal with the substance of, of, of the points being uh, uh, made. Just so on the Twitter point, I think communicating with people on social media is important, and if you are failing to retrofit homes, then it's right I call you out on that, and I think you should answer the substance and not the process. Yes, and answer the question. Okay, so, so, so the leadership is in relation to uh, what we see in London, compared and contrast, for example, to other parts of the, uh, uh, the country. So we are providing councils and uh, 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 housing associations with the advice they need. I'll give you just a couple of examples of the support we're giving, the leadership we're, we're providing. It was we that set up the Social Housing Retrofit Accelerator, uh, who provide the technical advice that's missing and support to the social housing uh, sector. We'll also be supporting the social housing providers would support on their bids and also ensuring that they are deliverable, because what we want to make sure is that they are uh, deliverable. Uh, we're also making sure there's a program to industrialise and scale up uh, whole house retrofit. Uh, for example, uh, the accelerator program we introduced uh, is helping already. We launched it in February 2020, cut carbon, reduce energy bills uh, by making homes more efficient. Uh, 
dealing with the building fabrics, walls, windows, floors and roofs, heating systems and installation of renewable energy, heat pumps and solar uh, panels are just two examples of the help we are uh, giving. So these examples are appreciated and this is good work, but I think the point is this, is if you don't have the people skilled enough to be able to do this work, you can launch all the programmes you want to, but homes won't be retrofitted. You talked about your adult education budget. Over, it's just over a hundredth of that is being spent on green skills and green skills itself as a category is nebulous. Are you actually going to invest in the adult education budget in making sure we get more retrofit skill coordinators? Well, uh, in proportionate terms, more of our adult education budget is spent on green technical skills than it was either before it was evolved. That's green technical skills, that's not retrofit. Uh, or, or either before we t was given to us or given to uh, other parts of the uh, country. One of the issues in relation to uh, courses for retrofit is uh, a lot of people obviously want to be confident there are jobs to go into if they uh, get these skills on bespoke courses. What we're doing is making sure that the courses are right. It could be plumbing, it could be electrician. But you haven't spent ha the money the government's given you, so how can you say there's no jobs? Uh, all the money in the adult education budget uh, allocated to us has been spent. Uh, for the last two years, we've had the... Uh, After a delay, because you couldn't meet the original investment. No, no, no. All the adult education budget money every year has been uh, spent. It's not, it's not the case that we've not spent the AEB money. Homes are not being retrofitted and we need to move quicker. Thank you, Chair. Okay.